We had a great time in TNT this year. In TNT, we start the night with game time. We have a lot of fun running around and competing in teams. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> then we have handbook time. Learning Bible verses. And studying the Bible. During the second half of the year, apart from all of our snow days, of course, we studied redemption for seven weeks. Here are a couple of the lessons. Genesis 1.26 says, Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness. We are God's image. His selfie and displayed to the universe. We are created so that our lives should be about two things. God. And our relationship with God. When God created Adam and Eve, they had a perfect relationship with God. That was the best and most perfect life. There was no sin. No death. No relationship problems until... Until sin messed everything up. Through the snake, Satan tempted Eve into thinking there was something better than a life of being God's image. It's silly for a selfie to be more important than a person, right? God only gave Adam and Eve one rule, just one tree that they couldn't eat from. Satan tricked Eve into breaking this one rule. He said her life would be better if she was like God. Eve believed Satan. Eve ate the forbidden fruit. And Adam ate it too. Romans 5.12 Therefore, just as sin entered the world through one man, and death through sin, and in this way death came to all people, because all sinned. Sin broke their relationship with God. And it broke our relationship with God too. In sin, we can't be in God's image like we're supposed to. When Adam and Eve sinned, it started all the problems in the world. Suffering. Death. Emptiness. Fighting. War. Disease. Homework. That's a joke. I hate sin. So our lives were messed up by sin. And we can't do anything to fix it ourselves. Is there any hope? Yeah, that's the best part. Romans 5.19 For as by the one man's disobedience the many were made sinners, so by the one man's obedience the many will be made righteous. There is nothing we could do to make our lives better again. Nothing we could do to get rid of our sin. So God sent Jesus, his son, from heaven to earth. Jesus was born as a baby. He lived a sinless life. And then he died on a cross. Jesus was punished for our sins. We don't have to be separated from God. Through faith in Jesus, we can come back to God. We can be a better image of God. Our lives can be full of God's joy. That sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? There's no catch. God wanted people to see how terrible their sin is. We come back to God when we trust Jesus for the payment for our sin. Then the Christian life begins, a life knowing God.